You see me, Yami? Ah, huh? you see me, Yami? My son, you wants to see something go. You remember the bit? Yeah, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The bit I brought her down from Toronto about ten years ago, I suppose. Yeah, trip from Toronto to Gander, eighteen hundred road miles. Made the trip in thirteen and a half hours. Yeah, including a five-hour ferry ride. <laughs> Cops couldn't ticket what they couldn't see. <laughs> scrapped there last winter. Scrapped there. Yeah, scrapped the bit. Took the engine, 454 four barrel, <laughs> and put him in Yammy. <laughs> you know what a Yammy is? Huh? Huh? You don't know what a Yammy is? Yammy, boy. A skidoo with a Yamaha stick around her. <laughs> now, buddy, that could move. <laughs> My silly boy, I had to weld the extra track on her just so she could take the strain. <laughs> My jumps, you should have seen this myself, me brother, eh? Gambo Pond, last match. You know it's Gambo Pond, right? Right on. 18 mile pond, that's what it's called, right, boys? Right on. 17 and a half miles long. <laughs> Fella that named her was optimistic, see? <laughs> we was up on the. Wait a minute. Now, before I get ahead of myself, because we, we, you know, we had to. Before we got on the pond, we had to go through the Droka Woods first. Right, boys? Right on. We had to go through the Droka Woods before we break out on the pond. You know what I'm saying, eh? Yeah. Well, now, hold on, though. See, because even before you could go through the Droka Woods, you had to go across Stretch of Bog first before you go through the woods and break out on the pond. Right? Right on, yeah. Yeah. Well, now, hold on, though. Before you could, like, go across the bog, go through the woods and break out on the pond, like, you had to get her down over the ditch off the highway, didn't you, buddy? Well, right on. Yeah. Yeah, but now, hold on now, see, now, even before you can put her down over the ditch, hey, go across the bog, through the woods, and out on the pond, look, you had to get her off the trailer first, didn't you, right? You're a spy, you're a spy, you're a spy. Mm. I can remember, old man, brother was on the front, I was on the line, right? Yeah, we had the liquor start in her. The way I seen that, I said, starting motor's already on to her. Was ten pounds, why take it off when she already weighs a thousand? We rigged up a button up on the left handlebar, depressed that one, she started up. Now, mind you, we, uh, we left the manual start on her, you know, to draw up the pull cord, because you never can tell when an emergency might arise and you would have to impress a woman. <laughs> See, does not everyone can haul over a V8 with a pull cord. <laughs> Especially not a 454, but myself and me brother, eh? We got her all built up here in the chest and the muscles and the arms and everything. You know what I'm saying, eh? We can haul her over just like a llama. Rah! Just like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, my son. Grab onto her. Now, most fellas puts the two feet up on her and hauls back up. Can't do nothing with it. I grabs onto her. And she's going, eh? 454 four barrel. <laughs> now, buddy, I'm going to tell you. Brother gets on the front of her this day. I'm on behind. He takes out a roll of electric tape. You know, electric tape? Electric one? Yeah. He tapes his tongue right flat down on the trot. <laughs> wide open, whatever she could suffer. And taped the rest of it all around his hand so she wouldn't slip off. I says to myself, he wants to go fast. <laughs> I jammed my hand under that little seatbelt was on there for nothing to fit under. <laughs> Just my sonny boy was right rear in the goal, eh? <laughs> and he reaches up and he deep presses that start button. Oh, God! <laughs> Just like, you spit the trailer and the car, what was attached to the trailer, 50 feet out from under her down the road. God! <laughs> Never even touched a bog. <laughs> First time we come down, we touched ground in the woods. Like a... <laughs> and she lifts off again. <laughs> big log cross trail about that big around. You've seen Robin Hood, haven't you? Uh, remember the part where he draws back the bow now? <laughs> Stee sticks in. <laughs> Same thing. Two 
skis broadsided like <laughs> You think that's slower down? No, sir. <laughs> she went on. My son left the two skis along. <laughs> Next time we touched down, out on the pond, going straight up the pond. <laughs> Mind you, now it couldn't go left, couldn't go right. No skis. <laughs> couldn't slack her off. Brother had a thumb tape down. I looks at me watch, I says, 17 and a half miles, 26 seconds max. <laughs> if you fired off a 303 behind us, my son, it wouldn't catch up. <laughs> and then it come to my mind, eh? Because I'm the one in the family with the brains. <laughs> Triton Brook, up the end of the pond. March one, right? Right on, running in that way, right? Like ducks, right? Float, right? The yammies, right? Don't, right? Right on. I screamed up, brother, slide down! Only thing is you couldn't hear me, see? Because, like, the words was going behind me. Just coming up, like, like, like that. Oh, yeah. We was going faster than sound, so although he was only that far ahead of me, he couldn't hear me. I had to grab his head and stick it behind my mouth so that the words would come out of my mouth and pour in his ear. Brother, slow down! And he says, what do you want to slow down for? I said, Triton, uh, Triton Brook. And he said, go on, I'm not slowing down. I said, I'm getting, uh, I, I'm getting off. He said, go on, you wimp. I got off. <laughs> He's just as well I never, I got sucked into the draft behind her and I stayed in the same position and there I was two legs outstretched same as I was sitting down, going up the pond behind her. I never rhymed the ass out of my pants so bad since the time in grade two I was caught for a smoke and I <sighs> gets up to the end of the pond old man there's only a few seconds later he strikes a rock right up by Triton Brook rock about so big as that block there look he strikes down bing straight up near 75 feet comes down slow Joe into the water that's it gone I came to an abrupt halt on the rock To be more precise, the rock brought up in me fork. <laughs> now, there is a bundle of nerves what goes from the fork to the brain about so big around as your forearm. And every nerve fiber in there was screaming pain. I put it out of my mind. <laughs> tough, eh? Tough. Tough. Hey, tough. Yes, sir. Only one thing in my mind. Brothers is brothers. Blood is thicker than water, unless the water is frozen. <laughs> but see, it wasn't frozen, therefore, well, you know what I'm saying. I had to go in for him. I get over there, strips off on the edge of the ice, observes the swollen parts. <laughs> Put it out of my mind again. Dove in for him, slow <laughs> I find like five minutes swimming around underwater, you want some bread of fresh air, right? Eh? <laughs> I looking around. Never seen nothing for a while because all the muck was stirred up, but then I seen a little light come through the muck. Same as a, same as a beacon out on the point when it's foggy, eh? Light like that. And then he flash again, flash again. I swims over to where he was too, flash again. I feels the front of her, that's, that's, that's the yammy. I looks around the other side, and there's brother. Brr, 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 brr. Thank mm -hmm. you.